TitleMatchNetwork.com. Think about uh, Vince McMahon's new uh, mustache. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I thought it was trying to be, it's not a joke. No. Okay. I thought it was a joke. I thought he looked funny as hell, like uh, Humphrey Bogart, right? <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I was like, hey, Vince, I busted my ass <laughs> on your mustache. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I, I didn't recognize him after it. It's got to be playing another character. Uh, <laughs> Cuban from like <laughs> so, Yeah, it had the space in between, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I wonder why he would do that. He leaves the company and then comes back, back in the disguise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Talk about greedy. He didn't even pay his own court. He used the company money. To pay him, <laughs> he his own money. Did you just like a write off? He, he paid those whores, and he paid more. He paid me. <laughs> well, they sucked his dick. I didn't. Like it. These are, yeah. He's paid more for sex than I made in my life. <laughs> How crazy that he's like, basically back on the board. He just went away for like you know a little bit here. Little Actually, bit here. I, I, I'm glad because it's his company. Regardless, he's a bastard or not, he created it, and trying to force him out of his own company. Fuck that, you know. So I applaud him for staying there. If it was me, I'd hide. You know, <laughs> I paid the girls off and never see me again. Yeah. But he stayed there and imagine all the snickering behind his back and the bullshit they say about him behind his back, you know, yeah. right there. <laughs> How can you not? I mean, even I would say, yeah. <laughs> I would, if I was him, I would have stayed home and just spent my money. Until they forgot about it. <laughs> Did you ever get the sense that Vince McMahon can actually can he can he actually like relax or is he a straight workaholic twenty four seven? Have uh, you ever seen him take a break? You know? I, I I I was never around him that much, but whenever I was around him, he was always doing something or on the phone or giving somebody advice. He, he's a workaholic. I don't take that from him. He's definitely a, a workhorse for sure. He loves the business, but he wants to make the business a joke. Or he did, you know. That part I didn't like about him, but uh, he he's a, vis a visionary uh, that I didn't respect at first, but now I do. I thought he was just an asshole trying to destroy the business, but he was an asshole trying to make the business. And who knows? You guys might have a lot in common if you see each other. Uh, you know, maybe water under the bridge. You know, I'm sure you I, I, yourself. Yeah, I have really nothing against him personally. You know, because he never bad me to my face. I've heard he bad me behind my back. But I, I don't take that as gospel. I tell you bad enough to my face is when I get mad. But uh, he's always been polite, super nice, you know, put me over huge. Uh, I'm not making this up either. He goes, you're the best, you're better than I've ever seen and the best I've ever seen. That's what he said. He said that. I, uh, I, no big deal, but I didn't make it up. He said that. He's better than I heard, better than I thought, and the best I've ever seen. I said, really? Thank you. I said, you must your ass on what? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he put me over, and, but he didn't have my back when it came to the booking meetings. If someone bad, bad mouthed me, he didn't stick up for me. Or if someone said, has to have be the, the, the fall guy, he didn't object, you know. The, the only thing, he, he, he wanted me to talk, you know. And he, he didn't see anything other than me talking. If I didn't talk, I didn't do this. You know, I can't talk. <laughs> have you thought about how that Sabu character would have spoken or what you even would have said? He wanted me to use an accent. I'm Sabu. I don't know. <laughs> uh, one time, he did force me to talk. He wanted me to say, I'm Sabu. I'm, no, homicidal, genocidal, suicidal, I'm Sabu. And I couldn't do it. So I said, homicidal, cut. Suicidal, cut. Genocidal, cut. I'm Sabu Cut. They put it together and it looked like he did it all at once. It was so <laughs> edited and it was bad. I thought he would say, don't talk no more. But he didn't. He said, do it again. <laughs> I said, fuck. You know, it took me an hour to say four four words. How long did it take me to say a whole sentence, you know? <laughs> but, you know, he said he had big plans if I could talk. And I thought I could change his mind. I couldn't. I figured, well, I'll show him my, I'll have to talk to you over. It didn't work. He, he had a, uh, a plan, and uh, I, I didn't want to do it, you know. Like, cause that's when everything was story driven. Like, yeah. everybody had to go out, do a monologue. Or yes. 
Yeah, and it ended up being more talk than wrestling. If you watch the show, yeah. there's more angle than wrestling. And I still believe the best angle is wrestling. I'm wrestling you and I want to beat you because you're a wrestler and I'm a wrestler. I want to show I'm a better wrestler, not a better human that has nothing to do with it or whatever else, you know. I think wrestling is its own, is its own angle. I, I think mean, that was part of the feel of Nitro. Yeah. Was they had like the cruiserweights and they yeah. had like, yeah. it was like you go, all right, this is fucking bullshit. But cruiserweights on. were warm up. They weren't the main event, they were warm ups, right? But yeah, um, see, like as me loving wrestling, I would rather see those matches instead of these people talking about bullshit. I don't care. Exactly, about. yes. And you know, behind, and you know that. Time, I, I'm, I'm smart to the business, yeah, but when I'm watching wrestling and the promo, someone's got the promo, I change the channel. You I change the channel to, to nothing. I won't want, I, I hate promos. I almost throw up. When I, I think I said this before, I'll say it again. When I was 15 years old, me and my mom was watching wrestling and everybody cut a promo like Ric Flair. Ah, I'll kill you this, ah, I'll kill you that. And my mom goes, uh, when you do that, I promise you, you won't act like that. I said, mom, I'll never say a word. <laughs> and so I, I don't talk now because I trying to keep my promise to my mom and I'm shy, you know. So the, my main uh, excuse is my mom don't want me to do that. <laughs> and even my uncle, I could have one time, he was chitching my daughter to talk again. <laughs> he goes, don't do that again. I didn't. <laughs> I tried not to anyways.